Hello gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. Um, in this episode I want to show you how to use the electrolyzer to generate oxygen for your base because eventually um, you'll run out of algae. I mean there's ways to get algae forever but it becomes a bit tedious. So the algae deoxidizer and the algae terrarium you know, they work but eventually uh, you may run out of algae or find it harder to get. There are ways to produce it from slime, and there's lots of slime. Um, but I just want to show you how to use the electrolyzer. So under oxygen, you'll see electrolyzer. And I'm going to build one in this sealed room I have here. So you want a sealed room because it gives off hydrogen, and you don't want hydrogen kind of invading your base. Hydrogen tends to rise, so if it wasn't sealed, it would probably end up probably up in here and maybe up in here and your duplicates can't breathe it so you don't want it uh, to collect. The other thing it, it uh, releases is oxygen which is what you want and we'll be piping that into the base. I'm just going to build one at first here but I'm leaving room for many of them so we're going to need to uh, hook up power to this. I already led the power up partially. The other thing we want to build in this room is a gas pump And we want to put it near the top of the room because the hydrogen will rise and we want to collect the hydrogen mostly. And we'll want a gas filter to filter out the hydrogen. So I'll put that kind of right beside here. All of these will need to be powered up so I'll lead some power up along here. So the gas pump will suck up the oxygen and hydrogen that the electrolyzer puts out and then I'll filter out the hydrogen and I'll send that off to a hydrogen generator which generates power and everything else I'll just send into the base and everything else should be oxygen there shouldn't be anything else in here if there ha happens to be some polluted oxygen or carbon dioxide it's it's okay if there's a little bit the other thing we need to do is supply it with clean fresh water so I do have some clean water down here I will pipe up to the electrolyzers as you'll notice I'm using the exploit here for, with the manual airlock where the dupes can run out of the door and nothing will escape or, or enter they'll eventually fix this exploit and then in which case you'll want two or three airlocks with some space in between that way it should mostly keep everything in this in this room. So now that the filter is built we want to select hydrogen as the output and we want to pipe this together but first I'm going to build a hydrogen generator and I'm actually going to just put it in this room we don't need to, you I could put it out here and pipe the hydrogen to it but just for simplicity I'm going to put it in this room and I'm going to hook up power to it and I'm going to hook up gas piping as the filtered output which is pure hydrogen and we'll lead that into the hydrogen generator and everything else that's coming out of the coming out of this uh, filter I will send to the base for now I'll just bring it up to here and we'll put a vent on it a bit later and we also need to hook the gas pump into the filter. So we've got it out here and then into the filter. So here comes the water for the electrolyzer. And here it goes, it's producing hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen shows up as kind of pinkish color on the, ma on the map. There is an exploit which I won't use um, to make this thing pump forever. Even though, even if it hits max gas pressure, it'll keep pumping. But I'm not going to use it just because it's kind of too cheaty. And in order to get the pump going, I actually need to have a have this the secondary output uh, leading to a vent. So I'm going to put one right above their beds here. First I'll uh, move the pipe down slightly and then I'll put a vent 
right here. And I'll probably put one over here. Just want to distribute the gas nicely. And I'll probably branch off for each floor. Uh, maybe I'll branch off here, put a vent there, and then put one over by their bedrooms here. So now we got it all, all piped up. So everything that's in the room that's not hydrogen is coming out and along here and splitting should be splitting here, but not sure why it isn't. Oh, maybe because these, sorry, these vents aren't finished yet. Once these vents are finished, then it'll work. And then all the hydrogen should flow into here. There is the odd packet going in, as you can see there. And then we'll probably want to hook up a battery to this um, generator. So I'll build that now. This hydrogen generator is not going to generate much power because it's going to be very intermittent. So we can't really rely on it for anything. If we get uh, maybe three or four electrolyzers going in this room, then we might get enough hydrogen for this thing to run permanently. So now that, now that that's running nicely, I'm going to probably disable this algae deoxidizer and maybe set these uh, algae terrariums to like slightly lower priorities. Once this polluted oxygen makes it way, its way out of this sealed room, uh, it'll only be pure oxygen and hydrogen in this room. I could technically seal off this one little piece here so that it all stayed in one area, but because the hydrogen seems to be going top left. But eventually the hydrogen will just fill up this whole top part of the room. You may want to leave room for some one or more wheeze warts because these can heat up quite a bit. Right now its temperature seems to be fairly stable. Actually I am going to put one wheeze wart in here. So you do that with under decor. You can use a flower vase. And I'll put one right here. I'm going to need to remove this tile to make room because it, it, I think it needs three high for the wheeze wart to fit in there. And you can find wheeze warts, they look like uh, this little guy here. You, sh you can find them in the ice biome, here's a few. So you just dig them up like any other plant and then you can plant them in a flower vase. So I'll actually have to dig. I've got one over here I can dig up. So it produces a seed like this little wheeze wart seed. And then we'll plant the wheeze wart in here. And that should keep this room cool. So there we go. This wheeze wart should cool, cool this room down. And just for good measure, I've put a second one here just right beside the electrolyzer. And that should definitely keep them uh, cool. And I'll probably end up building a second electrolyzer right in here. And eventually I might build three or four. That should produce a lot of oxygen for the base. So that's kind of all I wanted to show with the um, kind of electrolyzer setup. It's a good way to get clean oxygen into your base without using algae. All it requires is power and water, which um, I covered in a different episode how to generate power from natural gas. So check that out. Um, so all you need is a gas pump, a filter, hydrogen generator, and one or more electrolyzers, and a clean source of water. And you may want to, you, you need to put it in a sealed room or your hydrogen is going to kind of leak into your base. And you may want to use wheeze warts to kind of keep this room cool because these electrolyzers can get hot. So if you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to get alerted on future videos, please hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.